Good morning YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone's having a lovely day. It is currently Saturday 27th of January. We are in Brisbane, Australia and today we have organized a jam at Beanley Skate Park. It's gonna be an old school reunion. Ross Lavender planned the whole thing and we're just trying to help out. So I'm on my way to the shops to get some drinks for the boys. Most old school technology ever! Fucking hate it! So we got plenty of waters and drinks for the boys. Now I just gotta get home, put ice in it, get to Bean Lee Skate Park, and enjoy the jam. All right, behind the camera now is Alex Heim. Check this. Hey guys. Yeah. Can you film for me, mate? Yeah, I got you. Oh, look at this. Whoa! That's what's up. Yeah. What trick do you want to see? Boomerang. A boomerang? On the Instagram or his boomerang? Oh, I get a technus shot. <laughs> <laughs> get a close up of it. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. No oh, what? Oh, oh my god! <laughs> he knew you were filming, that's what why. What the fuck? Chris James is an Yeah, animal. boy! That was savage. I nearly really missed my pop. I've oh. done that. <laughs> you got it. You might have missed your pop, I didn't miss the clip. <laughs> That's Jody Jarrett, the brother of Marty Jarrett and Matt Jarrett. Probably the meanest cunt in being late. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I mean it, dude. Like, Chopper Reed ain't got nothing on the Jarrett. <laughs> Savage. <laughs> Do you want to be on it? Say something whack. Uh, nigga bitch. So this is Ross Lavender, and these are all Ross's bikes. This is the is this the Tim Wood replica bike or yeah it Tim is Wood's indeed. This is the Tim Wood replica bike. This is all Tim Wood's boys, and here's Tim Woods himself. G'day, Ross has done a great job. So Tim used to ride all the competitions on a bike just like this, and he even the stickers a eh? like everything it's a, it's identical. identical. I can't like I feel like I've just gone back in time. It's amazing <laughs> sitting in the shed, and that's the actual bash guard off the bike. I even. Even look, I put sticky tape on here so that um, that was black. I had a lot of pride in my bikes, <laughs> frame, and so they um, they had the frame and the forks, and they hung it up uh, on a hook in the roof. And a few days later, someone actually cut a hole in the roof, literally above where the bike was, and stole it through the roof. And so um, they didn't realise they had a broken frame anyway. So I never know what happened to it in the end. But um, after that. They felt guilty, and so they actually gave me this Haro Sport as a sponsorship deal from Allen Cycles at the time. So that was the, that, that, and that's the actual one. That's the bike that I was given. Um, and then I did the demos at um, Fisherman's Wharf with Matt Hoffman on that bike, and that's the actual bike that I broke my hip on, which um, put me out for 12 weeks in a stroller. I had this stroller. 
That's awesome. So why are you doing all these tributes? Uh, basically it's a, a way of documenting the history in Brisbane. Um, and also pay respects to the, the guys that I grew up watching. Um, but also to sort of document how the bikes are sort of built back then as well. So, you know, you see a lot of bikes built these days that sort of don't look right. You know, um, there's not a lot of experience from a rider's perspective, so it helps to um, sort of build it up, you know, in the same condition, um, the same parts, the same sort of wear, and that way you get a really good understanding of um, what, the, what the abuse the bike went through, what the rider could afford, to um, have on the bike um, and what parts are generally available sort of in Brisbane at the time so yeah yep so okay, so it's like a, it's just yesterday mate it's crazy I can't believe he's put all his effort into it who it's, it's fantastic here there was just a six foot ramp that was it, just a six foot quarter and then they built the two other eight and made that half yeah. Remember that wooden half that used to be there and they started digging out and made the bowl yeah and then the seven after that but yeah no there was just that and a little bit of bitumen down the front down here and it was murder riding man you yeah. hang up and just hit yourself as hard on bitumen eh? <laughs> it's the only way to learn though this is old school new age <laughs> no this is this is new school new school yeah. old, old school, school new school Alex, can you even guess what, what year this one is? 95. That's a 95? <laughs> nah, that's the I'm born. Uh, sort of close. What year is it? 91. And this is a Haro Master from yep. 1991, and Haro has just started releasing them again, and I truly believe this is why a lot of the old school dudes are coming back to these old school reunions. reunions. The other little bits and pieces, obviously, like these are old cricket bat um, grips, so they're not actual BMX grips. <laughs> so, and that's what, that's what Jason used. Uh, 165 cranks, uh, because at the time Dennis McCoy was running um, <laughs> short right. cranks for Flatland, so that's, that's, what he was, uh, that's what he was running. And the other interesting thing is um, he cut off some of the old 91 uh, pegs that you can see on the front and um, actually used them as a socket peg. So, what, back in 1990, 91 when he was riding this, this is like one of the earlier times when uh, riders are actually using socket pegs. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, see the nose is cut off. You know, there's a lot of purists out there that would probably be quite quite upset with you know the pegs and the seat and stuff being cut down. But but that's how Jason did it, so that's, that's how it should be rebuilt. Exactly, and, that, and that's classic the classic of the time. Anyway, yeah, you know, we, I remember everybody, everybody did. I cut yeah. mine just because I saw an older dude with his cut, yeah. so I thought that was because amazing. The, because the old seats were really huge. Long. Yeah. Fucking hell, he first go, dog. Almost first try. Come in. Keep trying. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact. That was fucked. And that last guy was fucking gay. The intro of this is our faggots riding bush bikes. Yeah, that, that guy's crazy. Good eye. When are you going to put it online? Oh, on YouTube. Um, probably when you go home. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Haha. <laughs> Big one. <laughs> Good feeling about this one. Straight up, mate. Go now. <laughs>
What are you gonna do, just go home in your socks? Yep. <laughs> Thanks for coming and hanging out with me today. Thank you to Ross Lavender and all the boys for coming and hanging out and throwing this amazing little gem at Beanley Skate Park. It's a little bit ran down, but this is my home. This is where I grew up. This is what I love to do, is just be hot and sweaty at Beanley Skate Park. So if you like today's video, thumbs up, hit subscribe, do all that good stuff, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out. <laughs> I do owe you. You got a full on broken bloody can cut you... off finger, broken bloody Next shit. time I'm filming, can you give me a hand? <laughs>